Hayden, how do you put a bow on your freshman year, all the achievements you've had, and then particularly your success this season? Um, you know, we worked really hard uh, in the off season, and it just feels good that, you know, it paid off on a good year, but still kind of got overshadowed by the fact that our main goal was to go to Omaha, and, you know, still very disappointed about that, but going to appreciate the, you know, accolades I got this season. And, um, you know, get ready for next season and try to pull together Team 128 to, um, you know, Omaha. Yes, what do you remember from the locker room after that second voting game, second one? Yeah, I mean, it was devastating. Um, this team, you know, had so much heart, so much passion, you know, never out of the fight, as Blake Wright said in the preseason. So we all thought we were so confident we were going to go to Omaha. I mean, we had so many good players, losing so many good players, so it's just very devastating knowing all that's going going away and Team 127 is done, but, you know, um, all good things must come to an end. So right now, just put that behind us and appreciate all those great people on Team 127 and, uh, you know, try to take it on the next year, on the next Team 128. What did that uh, senior class mean to you as coming in as a freshman? How, how, did, how did those seniors kind of impact you during your season? Yeah, those seniors, um, they're great, man. I mean, they took they took all of us under the wing. Um, not your typical senior, you know, didn't like, you know, bully you or haze you as a freshman. Um, you know, they just took all of us under, under our wing. So I really appreciate them for that. And um, even all the transfer and grad guys, you know, those are such a great class, such a great group of guys. Um, yeah, fun, fun group of guys to play with. Do you feel like the trajectory of this program has now taken a turn that, that you know, Omaha's are realistic expectations in this one school? Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say the last two years it's been realistic, but, um, you know, we're just trying to bring that confidence on to the next year. I mean, even before the season, we saw it realistic as this year, uh, especially after what happened last year. But I mean, we did get a little bit farther than last year, so we're hoping to push, uh, keep that same pace, and go one more step ahead and make it to Omaha next year. Not to make you relive something that seems so painful in the moment, but seeing all you guys on the field immediately after the game, watching Florida celebrate, stay out there and watch most of the Gators celebration. What were those moments like for you and your team, and how will that fuel you guys this offseason? Yeah, I mean, being from Florida, um, you know, never was recruited by Florida. It's like that game meant a little bit more to someone like me and Blake and you know, that was a lot of, a lot of fuel for us for that game, and uh, that was just very disappointing in that way. But um, you know, that's gonna keep that fuel is still in us. So I'm definitely gonna bring that on the next year and use it as motivation. But um, yeah, it was still very devastating. But um, the most like heartbreaking thing was all the seniors and all those uh, grad guys that are leaving for sure. Um, you know, those were such good. Such good teammates, very, uh, they're like the heart and soul of the team. You know, they brought a lot of life to this program, but yeah, we'll bring it on to next year. What was it like to see the passion in the second inning, the passion in the 13th inning? I mean, there, there were some <laughs> moments here that, uh, you know, ranked pretty high, you know, I think the intensity that we, that we see in postseason baseball. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was one of the craziest games I've ever played in. Uh, you know, between Cam's awesome catch, um, and then coming out and hitting that game time homer, and then Alden Mathis, you know, he thought, I mean, it was the bottom of the ninth inning, he thought that was going to be his last AB strikeout, but then, you know, we just keep extending the game and ends up hitting a go ahead home run, which is really huge for, you know, our team and great way to, like, I mean, that was his last college at bat, was a go ahead home run, it was pretty sick. So, a lot of cool things to see that game, to see in that game, but, um, you know, it was kind of sucks we got the loss, but there was, there was a lot of cool moments in that game. It was pretty awesome. Aiden, for you moving forward, coming off the year you've had, what are kind of your next steps moving into the summer and heading into next season? Uh, yeah, this off season, um, you know, work on 
work on uh, you know some strength things with Rick, and uh, wanted to focus on increasing the arsenal. So maybe adding one more pitch, and then just um, just kind of keep and maintaining everything that I have in my arsenal too as well. So just try to try to add a, another pitch. It's a little bit harder, maybe a slider, but uh, that's gonna be like my main focus this off season. Are you just gonna are you gonna go to the Cape? You gonna stay in Clemson? Or what? Uh, I'm gonna. Go home for a little bit, train, and then I'm gonna come out to uh, the USA trials for a little bit, and then shut down, and then break back in the fall. These are wild times we live in. You've got teammates that are thinking about the portal or thinking about coming back. Do you do you try and get in their ear at all, or, or do you try and recruit a little bit? Hey guys, stay here. Let's build something special, or or do you just kind of let guys go on their own. Um, you know. Everyone on this team do knows how good of a program this is. So if they're gonna if they're gonna hit the portal, I mean it's it's for their benefit. I mean it's not anything personal with this team. But uh, you know, everyone who's who's here in this program is gonna want to stay. That's gonna everyone wants to stay, but some some guys they gotta do what they gotta do and that's fine. Um, but yeah. For you, is that I mean, you know, obviously you you probably wanna come back. I'm sure other schools will hit you up, but you know, is that even a thought process for you, or is it like, no, this is where I am, this is where I want to be? No, this is the, this is the best, um, this is the best coaching staff in the country. So I would never want to go play for anyone else, and they just make the team, everything, so much more fun to play for, and you know, Clemson University, such a great school. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going anywhere. And, and you talk about your coaches. What do you, what do you think when you see not only Jack Leg going out? Get the toss, yeah. but your head coach going out there and firing everybody up. Yeah, you know he's he's all in. He's all in for the team, and since day one we knew that. And even till the last day of the season, he showed that. So he's he's always all in no matter what. That's what I love about him. Aiden, I know it's a team game, and obviously your final game of the season doesn't end how you want it. But do you take any personal pride in the achievements that you've been honored for the last couple of days, being named National Freshman of the Year? being a freshman first team All-American. Is there a sense of pride in what you've been able to accomplish in your first year here at Clemson? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I've been thinking about, you know, I just want to make these past few years in high school, my goal was to just at least start as a freshman, just start. And then as it inched closer and closer that day, um, you know, I just do everything I can to just be able to do that. And just by doing Making that my goal, I think I've accomplished a lot more um, just by just by reaching that first goal. And then once you get once you reach that goal, it's like you just take every day uh, one by one and just keep stacking those days up. And then next thing you know, it's it's like I have uh, you know such a great season. And it's kind of it was kind of hard to appreciate it. Like I know uh, Henny told me right after the game that uh, I was national freshman pitcher of the year. And it didn't really hit until a couple of days later because, you know, we were just so down about how we lost. But I'm still very appreciative of that, and it means a lot to me, for sure. And you talk about the seniors and the leadership and, and how much you'll miss that group of guys. But because of the season you just had, your teammates are going to look to you and probably already do as one of the leaders on this team. How do you view your role as a leader on this team heading into your sophomore season? Um, yeah, I just – I mean, I had a meeting with uh, Coach Backage about that. He definitely – uh, wants me to take on that role, and I'm all up for it. I want to get um, be able to take all these peas, all these pitchers uh, under my wing, and you know, kind of teach them a couple of things that I like to do, and that work for me, and you know, guide them in the right direction, and you know, hopefully that will spread amongst all the players, all the players and pitchers, especially on the team, so we can have a stronger pitching staff next year. You have that goal to start. You have these accolades. What are you most proud of, though? from your individual accomplishments or growth even uh, throughout this season? Um, you know, one of my biggest things was just uh, just trying to stay healthy and just managing, just being able to be out there every every single weekend. And, uh, you know, it was a little bit of a struggle um, in the season because, uh, you know, you can't, you can't have a good year if you're not out there. So just getting in there with Rick and just going over things um, I know I had to take a week off in the middle of the season, um, which felt like forever. It was kind of 
it was kind of weird. You think one week, oh yeah, it's not that much. So it, was, it took me a little bit to get back into rhythm after that, but um, just still being able to go out there was one of my hugest goals. Back to one more question. You've played baseball your entire life. How much different was a college season on you? You talk about trying to stay healthy, just the, the endurance that it requires and the mental capacity that it requires to survive a college baseball season. Yeah, you know, this is the most uh, innings I've pitched in a single season uh, in my whole life. So um, it was a lot to prepare for and uh, a lot to stay to stay in it. Um, and yeah, as you said, mental the mental side was um, a huge part of this season because you know it's week after week. You got to keep yourself in that routine. You know you're gonna want to drift off a little bit, but you just got to stay focused. Um, you know one thing we do here is journaling, so keep journaling, keeping the mind fresh, and um, you know just focus on uh, as Coach Package says, one day at a time, stay in the present moment. So you know just taking up all those things in the preseason. Uh, mentally was the hugest thing for me just to be able to stay like mentally 100% every single game so I was able to do my best out there. All right. Thank you, Aiden. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.